Before I go too far with this, I'm going to show you the result. So here's the USB serial example app. And we have our terminal open here. Type whatever we want here. Yada, yada, yada. And then press send. What that just did was it sent the data through this USB OTG port through this cable, this has an uh, FTDI uh, chip in it, and this shows also the uh, the pinout of the cable. The cable. Then this, uh, the cable terminates here. Here we have yellow, orange, and black. So black, you tie the grounds together. This is a SAMD21 Zhao chip here. This runs the Arduino. Um, with the Arduino IDE. So the second pin in here, tie the ground ground in here. And then here, this orange is a TX from the, uh, the cable I just showed you, so orange. And then the RX, the receive of the UART of the chip, is right here on this pin. And you could also use the, the yellow here to do full duplex communication but I'm just doing it from the phone to the Arduino and then that is being monitor monitored via the PC via the serial monitor right here so just important to note make sure your baud rates are equal I'm using 115 200 and you can also set that in here uh, let's see if we can go back and then here, and then baud rate. So now I'll get into the nitty gritty on how to make your own custom version of this, uh, make your own custom Android app. All right, assuming that you've installed Android Studio and Git and uh, configured your phone for developer mode, I'll put some links in the description by the way, then proceed by opening Android Studio and then get from VCS, and then enter a URL here, uh, copy, I'm going to send you the link for this GitHub repository, copy this, HTTPS, over to here, and then click clone, and this will take a little while. Once the repository has been cloned, hook up your phone in USB uh, developer mode with a cable to the computer, and then press play button here. After pressing the play button up here, it took a couple minutes, and the app installed down on my phone. Now what we have to do is unplug the cable here at the phone plug in the FTDI cable there we go here it's asking which app to open it up with this is the one that just downloaded and then it's recognizing the device click it Set the baud rate. Oh, whoops. And uh, set the baud rate. Click it. And then type and send characters down in here. If you want to make your own custom app and change uh, some of the views and XML, you can do that. For example, here I added this one, two, three at the end of example. I can delete that and did a couple other things like in arrays. I changed this from 2400 to 1400. I'm going to change it back. And when I'm ready, click here, make project. That takes like five minutes and then run. And that'll run it back on the phone here. 
So the code here that comes with the install, it's made for this Leonardo board. And some of the Arduino compatible boards have different pinouts. So the Zhao Sam D21, it doesn't have all of the functionality of this bigger board, you know, but the price, I mean, the Leonardo's 22 and $22 and this one's only like six bucks. So anyway, if you want to use the smaller boards, you can comment out things like this and uh, it'll work. All these look good. Then upload. Sorry, upload. So that's it. You install the Android program on the phone via Android Studio. Install the Arduino program on your Arduino chip. Connect them with the OTG adapter and FTDI cable. And then connect the Arduino via cable back to your computer and you can you can send data from here to here you don't even really need this this cable if you want to do a separate project without your computer you can do that and uh, it's neat all this is free and uh, people put a lot of work into this and uh, thank you for watching I hope this can help you in your projects